Hello again, this is James from the 11 Plus Tutors um, and I'm excited today to talk to you about percentages. So, um, the first, we're going to go up in, in difficulty. So we're going to start with a very straightforward question, which is find 15% of 620. Now I think, you know, the average kids should be able to do this. They cover it in school, in year five. And to find 10% of any number, we just divide by 10. So that's the first place we could start. That would mean just taking off a zero. So we know that 10% of 620 is actually 62. Now, because 10% is 62, we now know that 5% would just be half of that again. So that would be 62 divided by two is 31. Add all of this up, 62 plus 31, you get 93, there's the answer. Nice straightforward numbers. I always call this the 10%, 1% rule. To find 10% of any number, just divide by 10. To find 1%, for example, you could divide by 100, and you could do other things as well. 20% is divided by five. There are lots of shortcuts. Next thing, we've got a worded question. So we're getting a bit more um, into an 11 plus style question here. A t-shirt costs four pounds 20. If you buy six at a time, you get 20% off. How much does it cost to buy the six all at the same time to get our 20% discount? Now, all we need to do, there's a couple of ways you could do this. Um, you could get the total of all the shirts and take 20% off at the end. It doesn't matter. I think the way I did it here was I took 20% off each t-shirt then multiplied it by six. So what I did was um, I did because we're dividing into, this is important for kids to remember, because we're dividing into £4.20, it's better to turn it into to pence, so 420 because we're going to divide it. just makes it easier. We can always turn it back to pounds and pence at the end. So 420 divided by 10 is 42. That's 10%, double it, 84 pence. Now we know that uh, we get 84% 84 pence discount off each t-shirt. Let's work out what each t-shirt would actually cost in this deal. 420 take 84 is three pounds 36. So if you buy them all at the same time, all six, you actually get them for three pounds 36 each, but only if you buy them at the same time. And therefore it's easy to multiply this by six. Remember it's best to ignore the decimal and then put it back in at the end, you actually get 20 pounds 16 is the answer. Quite straightforward. But often kids get flustered in the exam. They see a, a wordy question. It's often best to underline key things. So we know that that costs four pounds 20. We might underline that. 20%, that's a key piece of information. Six at once is also, so I get the child to underline that too. Next thing, a bit more complicated but it's very important for kids to know this type of question and understand it. Once you've done it a couple of times, it's not difficult, but it's important they understand because this is where kids go wrong normally. Six ties bought together cost, um, if you buy all six together, you get the 20% discount, which that costs 24 pounds. But what would it cost if I just wanted one tie? Now, this is the bit that could get overlooked. If we're buying one, we're no longer getting the 20% discount. We're not getting that. So what we've actually got to do before we divide by six, we've actually got to work out what the original price is without the discount. And the way we do that is the following. We know that 24 pounds is actually 80% of the original. How do we know that? Because this is 100%, which is the original, take 20%. Now we've got it written out like this, it's actually quite easy to deal with. Because we know that 24 pounds is actually 80% of the original, we could therefore work out that 20% is six pounds because there are four lots of 20% in 80. 24 divided by four is six pounds. Are you following me? Add that together, we know that originally it was 30 pounds without any discount. Now it's nice and easy. We just divide that by the six. Now we know it's five pounds. Probably worth going through this 
rewinding the video a few times and having a look at this, um, we definitely see these types of questions. So it's worth, you know, percentage is a favorite. It's not gonna be all over the paper, but it will be in there. I hope you've enjoyed this week's installment. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you, goodbye.